Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. This is the Kemet Masai Academy and as usual, our focus is on excellence. So this morning, I'm sharing with you the story of one of my students, Amari Chamberlain. He's going to tell us all about himself and we're focusing on the fact that Amari has gained a distinction in City and Gills Mathematics and a merit in English language, City and Gills. He's also gained two passes in grade three at the CSEC exams, one in math mathematics and the other in human and social biology. Amari, welcome. Thank you. Yes, this is a brilliant young man and you're going to be seeing lots more from Amari as he progresses through his academic career. This morning, we're just gonna find out a little bit about him. And also, we're going to be speaking with his parents who provided astounding amount of support and encouragement and motivation for Amari. And this is so important that parents are on board. It takes three. The student, the teacher, and the parent has to be fully on board. So Amari, congratulations, first of all. Thank you. So Amari is a student at the Kemet Masai Academy, the school of which I am the principal and I'm proudly so. Tell us about yourself, Amari. Just introduce yourself, tell us your name again, your age, and a little bit about yourself. My name is Amari Chamberlain. I'm 11 years old. And my favorite subjects are math, English, and art. Art and craft, okay. When did you start school here at the Kemet Masai Academy, Amari? In what grade? I started school in grade three at Kemet. All right, and when you um, decided that you were going to take on the challenge of preparing for not just your PEP, because remember Amari is, a, is 11 years old, so he just did PEP. He was successful at PEP, and he's actually going to be moving on to St. George's College next week. School starts next week, right? So Amari did preparations for his PEP exams at 11 years old. He, while doing that, he was also preparing for City and Gills, um, stage three, mathematics and English language. He was also preparing for CSEC examinations. Amari, what went through your mind when you had that discussion with myself and mommy and daddy and the decision was made that you're going to take on all of this on your little plate? Um, at first, I was excited to start and um, I, was excited, I was excited to start at first because I read, I've seen a lot of videos on mm -hmm. kids that went to that went to Kemet mm -hmm. and they were successful in their exams. All right, and this is why it is so important that we have first we have precedents, right? We have people who do it and not just do it and hide it, but show what can be done so that others who are coming can see it and use that as a beacon, as a motivation for themselves. So Amari said he was aware of other students from the Kemet Masai Academy who went blazed the trail ahead of him, cleared the path, and did it. So there was no question in his mind that it could be done because he saw others do it. He heard about others did it, doing it, read about them in the paper, saw them on the television, and now it's his turn to stand in the limelight and shine. So Amari, give us an idea of what your preparation was like for PEP. Let's start with the PEP primary exit profile exam for grade six. For grade six, um, well, we did school from 7.30 to 5 o'clock and to 5 o'clock was extra lessons which helped us to prepare 
a lot more for the PEP exams. Mm -hmm. And with those lessons, the PEP seemed easier mm -hmm. to complete. Right. I remember the, the PEP at grade six is a very challenging exam. I love the PEP. I love the way it is structured. Right. But remember, the grade six students, they have to do the ability tests. They have to do their four curriculum-based tests. They have to do their four um, performance tasks. So a lot goes into the preparation for PEP. All right, but alongside that, Amari, you are also preparing for the City and Guilds Stage 3. And bear in mind, the City and Guilds Stage 3 is equivalent to the CSEC. All right, so City and Guilds Stage 3 and CSEC along with the PEP. What was the preparation like for these advanced subjects that usually 15, 16, 17 year olds are doing, and you at 11 took this on? Because when I go on the channel on the Kemet Masa Academy, mm -hmm. and I see you explaining those those kind of lessons, mm -hmm. I found that when you explain them, they're easier to understand, and I can understand them quickly. So I can take on the challenge. All right. And that's why it is so important to me, students, that I put these videos out. There are over 600 videos on the Kemet Masai Academy channel. You have no excuse. You can go on and search for any topic, whether at the PEP level, City and Gills, CSEC, go and search and empower yourself. Now, we're just going to take a minute and share the screen so that you can see Amari's results, right? So we're not making this up. This guy actually went and did. So there it is. So this is Amari's. This is the City and Gills. So... Distinction in mathematics, stage three, and merit in English language, stage three. And then here we have his CSEC certificate. This is um preliminary certificate. So Amari actually did, he did not just do two subjects, right? He did six subjects. He was successful in two, but bear in mind, he carried the weight of six subjects and i'm very proud of him because he he, he did additional maths he did biology um hsv english language literature and what am i missing out we leave it all one so additional math regular math right so amari this was just awesome right did you at any time during this period did you doubt you know the process did you doubt what was happening and your your objectives was there any point that you said boy i can't manage i can't do this why am i even doing this yes at one point i found it right it was to carry it on mm -hmm. it was tiring but over the time you reminded me that um, it's almost over and like every time when I felt down, you always told me that it's like one week left mm -hmm. and so it's, that was help that helped me and made, made it clear to my mind that it's almost over. Right. And we were there with Amari every step of the way and I'm telling you, um, he went into that examination room every single time with so much confidence just casually walking in when an 11 year old can get to the point where he can walk into a CSEC exam room smiling, that's awesome, right? And we can expect so much more of Amari in time to come. What are some of the things that you did in your leisure time to balance out? So, so um, on Saturday, on the Friday night, then on the weekends, mm -hmm. after class is finished, I would like play some games between the time mm -hmm. to like have a little fun. 
Right. What games do you enjoy playing? Fortnite, FC24. Um, Fortnite. Okay. So now, Amari, you're moving on to high school, young man. <laughs> yes. Moving on to high school starting next week. What do you see yourself doing in the near and distant future? What is your ambition? What's on your table for the next year or five years? Miss, I want to complete at least eight subjects mm -hmm. by the time I'm 16. Mm -hmm. So that in college, it will be easier for me to understand the topics. And what is your ambition? What do you want to become? Miss, I would like to become an athlete or a, or a, um, a center. Okay, awesome. So in in um, wrapping things up, and we're going to speak with mommy and daddy, don't worry. So those parents who are watching, you're going to learn exactly what you need to do in order to provide support for your child. Mommy and daddy are going to come and tell us what they did. But Amari, um, what would you say to other youngsters who are thinking about taking on the challenge of doing exams that are way above their regular level? If you're going to do the challenge, mm -hmm. you have to put in you have to put in all your efforts and do all your work to complete them. Right. And just follow the guidance of your teacher and your parents right those who have your vested interest at heart follow their guidance once you commit yourself to it you have to be willing to go without certain things that the temporary pleasures those can wait but certainly you're going to reap the rewards of your sacrifice all right, Amari, thank you for sharing with me. And um, I wish you continued success as you go along. Now we're going to speak with Mrs. Theresa Scott. All right, so allow mommy to come and join us. Welcome, Thanks. mommy. Thanks for having me. All right, um, so congrats to you. Thank you. Yes, I was with you every step of the way, and I'm very conscious of the effort that you put in. So tell us what the process was like for you. Well, um, when we first came to Chemex, we, we were already in tune with our vision. Mm -hmm. So when you said to us, Amari has the potential to do it was an easy transition because we were already in tune with what the school or the aim of the school was mm -hmm. and so it was an honor first of all to have our child chosen to do that particular program where he did the csec the city and girls along with the pep so it was getting on board was easy because we knew that the possibility existed that mm -hmm. he would be chosen to do it right um the process very taxing mm -hmm. i will not tell any parent that it is an easy process it is very taxing but as you can see the results speak for themselves right you're expected to invest not just money but time mm -hmm. you have to invest time and it was easy easier because we had support not just myself and daddy but grandma was on board uncle was on board both uncles mm -hmm. auntie was on board and so even when amari was not physically present in the island he was online for classes when right. he was with grandma on christmas break mm -hmm. so the sacrifice of no holiday you can't sleep in your bed believe when i tell you because school starts at 7 30 in the morning and you're picking up at seven o'clock in the night mm -hmm. and on the weekend saturday and sunday so the sacrifice is real there was one particular morning i i completely slept away mm -hmm. i was so tired that i i lost track of everything my bearings were off 
But of course, when Miss call me, jump up and go. Let's go. Right. You know. And the beauty about being Amara's parents is that he's a willing participant, mm -hmm. and that is essential. That is important. He wants to do it, and and so I had no other option but to support him in the process right. of doing it. So if it meant losing sleep, investing money, investing time, getting resources, buying books, yes. The and let me tell you, these books are times. not cheap. No, they aren't. <laughs> the books are right? not cheap. These, these textbooks are not cheap. And some of them we had to get online mm -hmm. because whilst they were on the CSEC syllabus of recommended texts, they were not readily available. Mm -hmm. So we had a, a girlfriend of mine overseas who sent us some literature material and so on. So we, we had support outside right. of just you know family immediate family at home we had support right it's as a teacher it's really good when you have i, I like to call it good material to work with yes you know definitely. good material to work with because when you have a student as you said a student is ready and willing yes. all on board and then you're working with parents who are all on board it's just awesome and only good can come from that what would you say to parents who are um, thinking about giving the child that push to do some advanced work and yet you might have relatives they mean well but they might not even realize what's possible they're telling them no don't do that you know don't push him make him do what him, so him normally would do at his level what would you say to parents i got that, that. Position? i got that even from some family members who yes. thought it was too much um first of all if you can't if you know as a parent you cannot push back do not have the conversation with those kind of people mm -hmm. that's the first thing but if it is that you do mention and, and you get that you know you have to end that conversation and just carry on with those people who are on board mm -hmm. those people who and i can tell you from experience if my son calls his uncle to say uncle can you come and take me this Saturday? I need a break. Can you come and let me play some video games with JJ? And he's quick to say, all right, sis, Amari needs a break now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Those persons who on, on exam morning, they remember, oh, Amari, exam, let me call and say, um, just relax and go into exam. And so Amari has extra lesson. Let me check on him to see what his mental state is like. So that he doesn't feel like, oh, it's just mommy and daddy want me to do this thing. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's so much. He has other people who are there supporting. Get your village right. right. And your village doesn't necessarily have to be just family. As I said, I have a girlfriend overseas who is gone go behind him 100%. Mm -hmm. I have one in Canada and I have one in the US. And they are always supportive of our process with educating our children. Mm -hmm. Always surround yourself with the positive people. I'm not saying abandon your, your family because they don't agree with you. I'm saying mm -hmm. it, along this process, surround yourself with positive people, with positive energy. People who see the end results and are pushing. I have a brother who's saying, um, before even exam <laughs> was done, he said, all right, sis, so when I'm going to these subjects, what, we go, what, what are we? Mm -hmm. Right. You know, he didn't say, what are you going to do with him? He mm -hmm. said, what are we going to do with him? The village, the family. So that is... is essential mm -hmm. the naysayers will be there but you have to manage them or whatever way either you don't tell them nothing or when they bring up the negativity just drop it change the subject mm -hmm. you know you don't have to get into a whole take attack with them about it because you know what your goal is for your child and that's what is important absolutely as long as you are there the child is there and you have that positive surrounding the sky's the limit there's no mm -hmm. limit really <laughs> Absolutely, and we definitely will be looking out for what Amari will accomplish in future. I mean, this is just the beginning. Yes. Right, this is just the beginning for Amari. All right, mommy, thank you. And we're going to chat with daddy uh, now. Yes. Come on, dad. Uh, uh, <laughs> my time come to go yes, dad, this is your time. <laughs> Sit right here. <laughs> okay, I'll be you. Okay. <laughs> All right, yes. that's welcome. So we have Mr. John Scott. All right, so what was it like for you, the whole experience with Amari taking on all of these subjects, all of these different exams, and he's so little bit? The whole thing, the whole process was, was not 
initiated by me, really. Mm -hmm. Amari mm -hmm. said he wanted to do it. Right. And mommy, and mommy jumped and the wagon and said, when somebody said to you that they want to do this, mm -hmm. or they can do this, never doubt them. Yeah. Mary, well disciplined, and that says a lot. Mary have an attitude and an appetite for learning. Mm -hmm. That it, in that, in that is not very difficult to, you know, to lead him. Mm -hmm. You just want to help him and to assure him, to reassure him that whatever happened from here on, we are with you. Mm -hmm. Don't get a low grade in the, any of the exam and cry mm -hmm. because he's like that. And Amari used to be like that from from long time. Amari does that when Amari do, like do something at home and Amari does it in homework or anything. I mean, I'm doing something I can't understand it properly. I'm not getting it. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't like to see that. You would like to know what type of person is. Yes. Yeah, so we know that he he he, 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 lo he loves school mm -hmm. and more more so he loves this place mm -hmm. and he loves Miss Kamal and you are a good influence on Mary mm -hmm. and we appreciate that. Yes. We never have any problem with coming for Mary and Amari is at school and him, we, we go for him a, a little late. We know that, that time that he spent at with you will be well spent. Mm -hmm. So we always feel good knowing that him is at, him is at a safe, safe place. Right. But Amari is a child that anybody will want a child like this child. Yeah, ma'am. Good work ethic. He yes. has very good work ethic. Yes. Mm -hmm. And him, him confident. Amari walk in the exam and walk out. I'm and telling think you. Him do enough in thinking do <laughs> yes ma mary cry now when i'm married get the exam result i'm married cry yeah. because what the results says to amari mm -hmm. i'm married know that him <coughs> sorry mm -hmm. him do more than what it is yeah, saying. Man. he was very confident i'm yes. telling you that even the admat that i'm married in mm -hmm. we never we were look me and mommy was looking for for great for great things you know Mm -hmm. I was started to wonder now that what will this how will this impact the bigger girl? Yeah. That was a concern of ours. But we give God to, we give thanks to God mm -hmm. that Amari is here and he's well. And we we see him going places. Oh definitely. Because they 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 give us a glimpse of what is possible. What is possible. Mm -hmm. So therefore, no doubt is not in our mind. Yeah of what is to come mm -hmm. so all we need to do pray that you have the same discipline and the same focus mm -hmm. and the same love for, for learning, for learning right. and then the sky is the limit absolutely dad. there's no stopping absolutely i so want to i is is not saying the type of language that i want to hear now about what you want to do but i will i wouldn't i'm not prepared by it mm -hmm. because all i want him to do is go to school Get the passes and then he will decide later on truthfully yeah. right yes because he's young now so he might see things differently yeah, yeah definitely yes you know, so ambitions I'm, change right as they right go. right so mm -hmm. that's i'm not worried about it okay but i know that he has the potential to be who he wants to be but yes so that no fears him right. i just want him to continue and continue on with us prayer for God protecting and keeping safe. No ailment, no strain sickness, mm -hmm. and everything will be fine. And he has two more siblings coming, right? Right. Okay. And, he, and this is a good and this is a good thing for them. Because they will see, they will this. see it. Yes. Right. And, and and want to do as good as he did. Or even better. And even better, yes. Because mm -hmm. so, as we go, you know, we learn. Yeah. But the parents learning what to do better yes. the yeah. teacher learning what to do better the student learning what to do better so yes. each each time you go at it you come in better and better and yes. better yes. absolutely so we are grateful to god mm -hmm. that we come this far and we and we have we, we have results to show to show yes for right. far is is tireless yeah. hours efforts. yes efforts yeah we're not that's, making this up no that's <laughs> really is not story time sometimes really look to amari look at amari and say when they say school tomorrow morning and get up and him go to bathroom and get ready and him 
in bouncy. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm always, in, in always willing. Yes. Yeah. So the attitude that eh, we just hope that it continue and not you know, not come during this transition mm -hmm. so to do anything. Interfere. Right. So Amari you just have to stay closer to mommy and daddy now you're going to high school. The peer pressure is real. So you have to stick close even closer to mommy and daddy and uncles and aunties and your extended family, right? And of course, you know, I'm always here. Don't forsake me. Don't forget me. <laughs> Food it. Yeah, just just yeah. check in on me every now and again, right? <laughs> All right, so thank you guys for coming and sharing. And um, I am really just very optimistic about this young man's future. I see a brilliant future. And I'm happy that I was a part of his process and I got the chance to share my skills with him and to learn from him as well. All right, guys, so thank you for joining us. And as usual, stay tuned to the channel, pitch your tent, and watch, watch, watch.